Welcome to Gap Advisors channel. This video discusses an example of non-compliance with in days 1 and Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. If you are an auditor, investor, lender or employee of a listed company, after watching the videos on Gap Advisors channel, download the financial statements of the listed company and see whether the company as a reported similar to that being discussed in these videos. If found, make the company aware of the issues in their financial statements, enabling the company to excel in financial reporting in India. You may contribute your desired amount for the knowledge obtained by scanning the QR code given in the slides. A review of financial statements Let's you know the degree of reliance you can place on the information in those financial statements. If you would like to get financial statements reviewed by GAP Advisors, you may mail them to info at gapadvisors.com. In the previous video, we had discussed how the section of equity share capital of this statement of changes in equity was not in accordance with India's 1 and Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. In this video, we discuss the section of other equity of the statement of changes in equity presented by the same listed company. The presentation has more than one issue. We will discuss one issue in one video to keep the discussion uh, concise and short. Division 2 and Division 3 of Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013 requires a company to present total comprehensive income for the current year and previous year as a separate line item. Same requirement is there in Para 106 of Indies 1. The company has not presented the line item of total comprehensive income for the period either in the current year or in the previous year. Therefore, the company has not complied with Indies 1 and Schedule 3 to the Companies Act 2013. Due to this, statement of changes in equity has been impacted. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this video was useful and you have contributed your desired amount by scanning the QR code for the knowledge obtained. If not, you may do it now. If you would like to get financial statements reviewed by GAP Advisors, you may mail them to info at gapadvisors.com.